Okay, so uh, basically just wanted to give you a quick outline on how the Mojo system and the Red X system are different and how they work together, okay? So Red X, all right, Red X, all right, is the service that we use that goes ahead and provides all of the expireds, the cancels, the for sale by owners, and notice the default listings, okay? Now, why this is important? Well, basically what it does is it pulls from the multiple listing service as well as other um, sources all of the information that you need so you can go ahead and contact these people either via mail, door knocking, telephone, however it is you want. And you don't have to go through the multiple listing service, pull them out individually, cross check them to see if they've been relisted, then go on the postal service website to find out who they are, who owns it, find a phone number from dexknows.com. It does all that information for you, okay? So that being said, Red X is nothing more, okay, than a database, all right, or CRM, CRM, Customer Retention Manager, okay? Uh, so it's also uh, cloud-based, all right? And basically what that means is that all the information, instead of being stored on the local computer, okay? This is a terrible little computer here, but little computer, all right? All the data is stored uh, here, all right, in cyberspace, and then you go ahead and you access it, all right? Now, the challenge is if you delete information from here, okay, it does not have the ability to retrieve it and bring it back, all right, like they do on most cloud systems. So the information itself is stored here, but a repository of it is stored in the cloud, all right? So... Whenever I'm telling you, and you'll see in some of these other training, you'll want to go ahead and take the listings and put them into the archive folder. It's because it's saving it on the actual computer itself, okay? So, now, how that works with Mojo, all right? Mojo, all right, Mojo is nothing but a dialer, okay? And all it does is dial people, okay? It stores information in the cloud as well, but it only dials them, all right? And that's what we use it for. So what happens is the information, okay, from Red X that we download, all right, we go ahead and we put that into Mojo, all right? So Mojo has the information. When you turn on Mojo, all right, it syncs it with this. So sync, right? Sync. And then you can dial. Once you dial, you have the ability to go ahead and get calling lists of specific people that you want to dial, okay? And then it, you can dial up to three lines at a time. And on the individual Mojo training, I'll go over it so you can see exactly what I'm talking about here, okay? Now, the Mojo information is truly on the cloud, okay? Because, again, in the cloud, all right, you've got all these phone numbers and names and addresses, okay? And you can access that from anywhere. You can access it from any computer, all right? Red X, you have to be on that same computer to get that same information. On Mojo, you can get that information from anywhere that you can access the Mojo system, okay? Now, there's only a limited amount of places that you can download it. We can only download it up to five places. And so we have uh, three of them here in the office. So we're not going to be putting them on in people's houses, so don't get me wrong. But anyway, when you download that information from Red X into the cloud for Mojo, okay, Here's what happens when you're ready to dial. Your computer, okay, your computer has the information linked to the web, okay? So on your computer, when you're dialing, you are not actually talking, um, let's see, I'm, I'm trying to figure out the best way to explain this. It's, it's 
It's easy once you get it. It's difficult to explain. But basically, basically what happens is your phone, okay, I'm going to draw a crappy little phone here, okay? Don't make fun of my phone. All right? Your phone goes into the phone there, right? All right? Your phone, you dial into the cloud, all right, with their dialer with a phone number, okay? Like 1602222121, you know, 1212, right? And then there's the PIN number, which is found on the Mojo dashboard. And I'll show you more where that is, okay? So you here you are, all right? You use the phone, you dial into the dialer in the cloud, okay? Your computer is connected via the internet to the cloud as well, okay? And what happens is, in this cloud and their dialer, they have three lines, okay? Three phone lines. These are copper lines, all right? And they're very, very quick, all right? Meaning that when you call here, okay, your computer controls this and tells it who to call through the calling lists that you chose. It says what caller ID you want to show. You're controlling this with your computer, okay? Then the dialer goes ahead and makes the calls to the people that you wanted to. 555-1212, you know, 503-1414. 575-1515, right? Okay? And it starts dialing these people, and you're listening. The second that somebody picks up the phone, okay, it connects you to that person that instant. All right? And you start talking. Oftentimes, you're talking before they actually hear it, okay? How that works is, you know, on a regular telemarketing call, you know, when they're calling you and you, you pick up the phone, you're like, hello, and they're like, you, you know, hello, hello, and you don't hear anybody, you hear the silence, and then you hear a click, and then the thing comes on, that's the telemarketer. That doesn't happen here, because this is a computer, uh, uh, computer guided, computer aided uh, copper line system, which basically means it's almost instantaneous, the communication. This is what typically happens. You're listening on the phone, you hear, you know, the, the light turns, and I'll show you how that works. The light changes color, and then you can see, you start talking, the phone's ringing, they pick it up, all right, and as it goes to their head, that's when the thing connects you. You're like, hello, 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 hi. See, you're talking a lot of times before they actually hear you, okay? Uh, so that's how quick it is. You'll never hear somebody say, is this a telemarketing call or whatever? And because it shows a local caller ID, it does not show this number that you dialed. It shows your cell phone number or whatever number you wanted to describe. Okay. So that's how that actually works. All right. So that's how to use, uh, how you use Mojo. Now, uh, a couple quick things about Mojo. Mojo can only be used by one person at a time. Okay. Only one person can dial into the system. Now, if there's a lot of you who are actually dialing into the systems, then I'll be happy to go ahead and purchase some more seats for this. It costs a little bit more money, and you can have multiple people, all right, working off the same database, okay, on different computers. Um, and if there's, you know, quite a few of you who are doing this all at once, then that's something I can certainly invest in, and I don't mind if you guys are doing it on a regular basis. But on the, you know, uh, on the interim, okay, while you're dialing, that's exactly how the Mojo system works. And on the other video, you saw exactly how it is that we got the information from Redix into Mojo. So now we're going to go ahead and start going into Mojo itself. I'll show you how to use it and uh, how to go ahead and start prospecting with it. Thanks.